the transport of oxygen first of all let us understand that now this is this is what this is a heme group this is hemoglobin molecule and this is the oxygen that you can see very clearly over here this is the oxygen and this is the red blood cell which is in part so this is this is the oxygen over here as much oxygen comes in the blood from air approximately 3% of it dissolves in the blood plasma students it directly dissolves in the blood plasma remaining 97% of the oxygen combines with the hemoglobin to form oxyhemoglobin as you can see this is the oxygen molecule the red blood cell over here and this is hemoglobin molecule so hemoglobin carries oxygen through the body now one molecule of hemoglobin combines with four molecules of oxygen so you see one molecule of hemoglobin will combine with four molecules of oxygen so this is the combination of the complex so you could very clearly see the oxygen molecule the red blood cells and this is the hemoglobin carrying oxygen throughout the body so this is the combination this is because hemoglobin is made up of four units every unit of it, it reacts with one molecule of oxygen so this is the heme molecule with the iron atom iron is a very important component element in the molecular structure of hemoglobin this is the beta chain this is the alpha chain and this is the heme molecule with the iron atom so hemoglobin is made up of four chains students two alpha and two beta and each one of them are surrounded by a heme molecule that holds a single iron atom students one gram of hemoglobin can combine with a maximum of 1.34 ml of the oxygen and 100 ml blood carries about 15 gram uh, of hemoglobin so 100 ml of the blood transport approximately 20 ml of oxygen Oxygen does not oxidize hemoglobin. The formation of the oxyhemoglobin is a process of oxygenation that is called as. And the valency of iron is 2 in the oxyhemoglobin. Some pollutant gases like ozone or sulfur dioxide or um, uh, NO2 or NO etc oxidize the hemoglobin and this oxidized hemoglobin is called as the uh, methemoglobin that is a colorless compound and because of which you know this is the uh, methemoglobinemia as you can see the color of the skin when oxygenated or when the oxyhemoglobin reaches the tissue it dissolves or it disso dissociates the oxygen freed uh, goes into the tissue fluid from the blood and in place of it carbon dioxide from the tissue comes into the blood Gaseous exchange between the blood and the tissue is called as the internal respiration and it is also done by a simple diffusion. Now it is a conduction cycle students. It's a conduction cycle blood that it gives. So it in a conduction cycle blood gives 25% uh, of oxygen to the tissues. The rate of the saturation of the hemoglobin with oxygen is directly proportional to the concentration of oxygen as with a rise in the uh, partial pressure of the oxygen, the affinity between the oxygen and the hemoglobin increases. Mm -hmm.